Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Duffo, world famous bariatric surgeon. We've got a live cooking demo for you tonight with the amazing Sandy Rask Food 2.5. We're going to talk about big, bold, awesome, delicious flavors for your small holiday gatherings that you're going to be doing this year. No big gatherings, no parties. We're going to be small. I'm also going to give a wine review. I'm also going to tell you about this amazing project we've been working on called Club 2.5 where we show you uh, through using um, live cooking demonstrations, product reviews, things like that, how to get twice the flavor for half the calories. We officially um, gonna give you the holiday special today. So tune in for that. While we're waiting, I'm gonna give you a couple of uh, updates on um, coronavirus, but say, let's see where you're coming from. Christina Whitaker, what's up? Betty Rebels in the house, all right. That's awesome. Holly Joe's in the house. Dina's in the house. Awesome, awesome. What's up? How's it going? Donna Kay, Joyce Lockett, John Clark. Thank you for tagging your friends and family. Catherine Cannell is here. What's up, Linda Nagy? We're going to do some cooking tonight. What's up? What's up? All right. You want to be part of Food 2.5? Yes, you do. All right. We're going to get some cooking. Central Texas is in the house. Juliet, my girl. And Albuquerque's here. We got people from Wisconsin watching. Rhonda's watching from, uh, oh, I missed it. Oh, going too fast. Ruth Glover from Oz, Pennsylvania. Sandry, Sandy, Sandra, <laughs> I'll get it right. Hi, hi. Where are you guys watching from? What's up? Thank you for tagging. Thank you. All right. That's how we did. Virginia's in the house. What's up? Okay, so I've got my really good friend, Sandy Rascon. We're going to show you how to make some amazing dishes tonight. Three amazing dishes. Three amazing dishes, right? Um, and I'm gonna give you a wine review. It's 5 p.m. somewhere. It's 5 p.m. in Pacific time, by the way. Um, so quick coronavirus update. The FDA, United States FDA met and um, looked at the, the numbers for the Pfizer vaccine. They are going to recommend that we uh, give it emergency use authorization, which means uh, we will start vaccinating people in the United States probably um, on the 14th, you know, next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they'll start delivering that. So um, stay, stay on alert for that. Canada approved the Pfizer vaccine yesterday and um, England, the UK started vaccinating people on Tuesday with the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, we suspect Moderna, uh, we'll get a, we'll get, you know, it's usually lagging by a couple of weeks. We'll, we'll be the next vaccine to get approved. Uh, the cases are crazy high. We're averaging around 205 to 210,000 cases a day in the United States. I know we have international uh, viewers. Um, everybody's doing great. Even Europe, even, um, you know, Europe is uh, going past their second wave and we just keep going higher and higher. Um, I will do a coronavirus video starting tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. We are officially feeling the start of the Thanksgiving push, which was two weeks ago. Uh, so this is the start of what the numbers you're seeing now is a Thanksgiving surge. And we're going to have uh, more of this through next weekend. Uh, why? Because Thanksgiving was two weeks ago. But Dr. Burks told people to get tested. To If you gathered for Thanksgiving, you assume you're positive, And she encouraged everybody to get tested. Uh, five days afterwards, which means we're going to see this push, uh, this surge all the way through next weekend. Okay. So um, we are setting records for the number of deaths in America. We had over 3,000 deaths uh, last couple of days, which means that's the equivalent. That's almost like a, a 9 11 every single day. So if you are outraged about what happened at 9 11, you need to be outraged about what's happening with this coronavirus if you can imagine that happening every single day. So I think that we, we've we got to be beyond the whole mask hole conversation. I don't understand these stories and reports that I hear about people who don't believe that this virus is real, don't think it's a big deal, think that it's overblown, we shouldn't be shut down, we should be open. I just don't get it. We are so past that, Uncle Billy. You need to be on board, just wear a mask and if, and if um, if they don't get it, dude, you just can't be friends with them. That just basically tells you that they're selfish. They're willing. They they want to put their 
comfort because it's hard for me to breathe wearing a mask over the overall good. And you just can't be friends with people like that, quite honestly. That's my personal strong opinion. You know, it is. You don't have to wear a mask, but why, if you don't want to wear a mask, then why are you asking my friends, my colleagues, your, you know, your sisters, your daughters, your, your um, sons to take care of you when you get sick? You're not willing to wear a mask. You're not willing to social distance. Why are you asking us to put our lives in danger when you get sick? Think about that. So these are people you're not going to get through to them. I mean, we are late. We're about in the middle of this game. We're not in the beginning. We're not at the end, but we need to hunker down. It's going to be a long, cold winter. I'm going to talk about that uh, this weekend, about how much further we've got to go. But without further ado, I want to bring on my good friend. We're going to talk about this project we've been working on. We're going to do a live cooking demonstration for you. It's going to be fantastic. But what I want you to do while we're getting started is open up another browser if you can or on your phone and go to www.join2.5.com join2.5.com you don't have to do anything you don't have to do anything i'm going to show it to you really quickly okay uh let me share my screen with you all right okay and i want to show you there we go what you're going to see is this page right here. So if you go to join food, uh, join 2.5.com, uh, you'll see this cute video with Sandy on there. 25 years of healthcare and culinary experience teaching over 300 caregivers how to cook. We have, we've created this club that's gonna show you how to be successful in your mind. It's gonna help you prepare your relationship, repair your relationship with food because your relationship with food is broken. And starting tonight, and for a limited time, we haven't decided, but definitely through this weekend, we have a holiday special coupon code um, GIFT2020. GIFT2020, you'll save 50% off, 5-0. We are in pre-launch. We actually haven't launched this program. But what will you get? You will get a daily cooking show. You will get live two live cooking demonstrations, one with just Sandy, one with me and Sandy. Free the Fridge Fridays on Friday, where we show you how to clean out the fridge. We show you how to make recipes using what's already in your fridge. You have access to a secret Facebook group. We're going to do live product reviews. You're going to have access to our recipe library that has over 50 recipes. And if you upgrade to the concierge, you'll get one-on-one -on -one coaching. One-on-one -on -one coaching. Right now, it's with Sandy. That's why this this offer is super exciting because you actually will get Sandy as your one-on-one -on -one coach. You'll get to send her your pictures of your uh, your food, what you're eating, and you'll get instantaneous uh, response and feedback on what you're eating, uh, and then personalized recipes and shopping lists. Um, hope you subscribe. That's the that's my pitch. We'll do it again later at the end, but check that out. Don't miss out on this fifty percent off offer cool all right so let me get back to my page here here we go so you can check that out at join 2.5.com all right so with that i want to introduce my really good friend so as you guys saw miss sandy rask has helped more than 300 people learn to get twice the flavor with half the calories and half the work. And that's the guiding philosophy behind Food 2.5. Without further ado, my good friend, Sandy Rick. So happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Super excited to have you. We're going to do some bold flavors for small gatherings this yes, we are. Uh, right? Yes, Three we are. recipes. I did, yeah, I've got three recipes for you. I've got two that are seafood and one dessert, and I'm super excited about them. Mm. So two seafood, gonna, one dessert. What? What? Tell us what they are, real quick. We're making crab cakes. Mm. We're making a roasted shrimp cocktail, and mm. we're making faux caramel apples. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Well, you know this is a weight loss show. <laughs> so why are we doing caramel apples? You got some sort of uh, healthy spin on it, or what? What are you doing? Oh. Of course I do. I wouldn't bring it on your show otherwise, but I, I believe you've got to have a little sweetness in your life, you know, especially on the holidays. Um, so I've got a caramel. Yeah. 
Oh, not you? Okay, all right. Well, you sit in your lane, but I like my lane that has a little bit of sweetness, just a little bit, you know, so I don't go looking for a lot. But I make a caramel out of um, dates, vanilla extract, and salt. Mm -hmm. So we got some, we got some uh, crab lovers here. Yeah. yeah. So love crab and the cocktail. And what's another one? Oh, the um, the roasted shrimp cocktail is yeah. going to be so good. And then I'm going to show you some catering tricks um, on how to plate it. So you go because you could just put it on a plate if you want and eat it. But I, I got a few tricks up my sleeve to make it just a little bit more interesting. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, and um, and then we'll talk about this Club 2.5, which we've been working on. That includes the swear jar. Oh, the swear jar is up tonight. Oh, is it? So, yeah, we have $5 in swear jar. So every time Dr. V cusses or yes. says something sexually inappropriate, oh, really? <laughs> candy, I, have to, uh, I have to put a dollar in the swear jar. We're currently up to five bucks. Well, and I the winner of the swear jar will also have a prize to win. Oh. This is only for Club 2.5 members, though. This is only for Club 2.5 members. That's right. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Well, we I, have the, I have the gift right here. I have the prize sitting right next to me. I'm going to show it towards the end. Okay. It's All awesome. right. Is it awesome? I showed you. What do you think? Oh, I, I, I want it. Can I win it? No, you can't win it. <laughs> Darn it. All right. Well, I have a few things to bait you tonight. So I... Um, okay. I, um, they, want, they want the money. So... <laughs> like, I've got an ingredient... I oh I might have to put a little of this in there tonight. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, well, we'll come back to that. We have plenty of time to, to get to that. <laughs> All right. So let's get to our first recipe. First recipe number okay. one. What are we doing first? first oh wait. Thing we're, gonna do. we're gonna make yeah, go ahead. All right, yeah. you go first and then I'll do my wine review. Or do you want to do the wine review first? Let me get going because I'm gonna get this to I the first that. and then you can do your wine review. All okay. right. So I'm making crab cakes. So the, the first thing to know is you want to assemble everything in a crab cake, then put it in the fridge for, you know, I, best would be a couple hours, but we're going to go with what time we have. All right. So I have crab tonight. Now I could only get one kind of crab. Um, and, I, and I would suggest if you ever got this, because this is, hold on, let me hold it right up there. This is real crab meat. And these were claws. Okay. In this little eight ounce container, I love you all. And I love my family who I'm going to feed tonight. This is a $25 container. <laughs> Some of my audience members watching, you know, they're full of crabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. Bam, put something in the swear jar. You get... <laughs> All right. So what I had to do to this beautiful crab. Now, if I bought this regularly and I wasn't, and I hadn't already told you I was going to do um, crab cakes, I would literally take this and lay it out on a salad and enjoy that stuff. I came packing. Look at that. See? <laughs> This is, this is my walking money. Oh boy! All right, let's yeah. just get in that jar. <laughs> if you ever find Dr. V's pants lying around, go through the pockets. <laughs> well, let's hope we don't find his pants lying around with crabs. All right, in there. All right. I got. We got. We got a dollar in the swear jar. Beautiful. All right. So what I did was I took those beautiful big claws. Okay, they were about this big, and I diced them up. So they're all ready to become crab cakes. All right. So crab cakes basically are crab diced up with breading, some vegetables and some binders to hold it together. So I'm going to start with the binders. I've got, I've got mayo and I've got a really nice primal kitchen mayo. Um, I'll put this up when I put the recipe up, I'll include this. I actually really like this mayo because you can see it's got a really nice texture to it and it doesn't have too many bad ingredients in it. So we're going to put, I'm putting just about a tablespoon in there. I mean, you said something interesting there, which is like a lot of people think mayo is like an unhealthy mm -hmm. food. Is there yeah. anything in particular that makes regular mayo mayonnaise unhealthy? And is uh, there well, this that makes it healthier? So, so there's two different things. There's the um, the level of fat. So you if if you're gonna eat, I I believe in eating some amount of fat. You want to eat good fats, so you want to look for good oils in it. Um, this one had wait, let me just look. This one's made with avocado oil. Um, and vinegar, you want to make sure that there aren't preservatives and there aren't a ton of chemicals in there. There's a, a like your best foods and, um, you know, and the the whip dressing and whatever the other one is, um, they they're they're filled with um, with chemical ingredients. So I like going to something like this where, you know, what the ingredient list is. Like, let me hold that up so you can see. See how short that ingredient list is. And I know everything that's on it. It's got oil, eggs and a little bit of a flavoring. That was an avocado mayo. Did I see that right? Yeah. Yeah. Primal Kitchen. 
all the products from this company. I, I just think they're they're really clean. Wow, they're a full brand. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know anyone there. I'm not making any money off them. This is just, you know, it's just a good, a good brand. Then I'm gonna put about another tablespoon and I'm gonna put Dijon mustard in there because you want, you know, just enough to, to kind of pull it together. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in. Pass the grape upon. The grape upon. Oh, yes, exactly. Right across to you. <laughs> You're like a commercial. That's awesome. All right, I'm putting about a tablespoon of garlic in, and I'm using my favorite, the chunky garlic in a tube. It is super easy, Angel, to make your own mayo. I totally agree with you. It just happens to be one of those shortcuts that I tend to take. Um, I like to have a little on the on the shelf. Um, but I've got chunky garlic. You could put fresh garlic in there. You could put garlic from from a jar if you you know if you prefer that. Um, all right, so we've got that in there. I've got a lot of a lot of ingredients. In this. Let me take a look. All right, Worcestershire. I don't know if you guys have ever used much of this. It's one of those things that puts that little umami flavor into stuff. And it doesn't take a lot. There's that meme that says like words that I find hard to say, like, I'm sorry, I love you and Worcestershire. <laughs> yeah, right? I know, totally. I can't get Worcestershire right either. I, I even hesitated as I was looking at it. I'm like, oh, it's that W thing. It's in the bottle. Um, all right. The others that we want to put in, we want to put in some, this is seafood. So you always want to put in fresh lemon. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon in, which is, you know, about half of a half, otherwise known as a quarter. Um, and then um, we want to put some spices. Now, if you have Old Bay seasoning in your house, that's perfect for something like this. I forgot and I didn't get any, so I don't have any Old Bay seasoning. But Old Bay seasoning basically is like paprika. It's got some dry mustard in it. It's got garlic. It's got salt and pepper. And it has a few other seasonings. So we're just going to kind of wing it. And we're going to use my favorite smoked paprika. And look at this. Okay. See how much of that I'm already using? I use a lot of smoked paprika. I happen to really like using all my spices up because I think they're expensive. Um, and so I try not to keep too many. And Old Bay isn't one I would go to very often. So I, I just don't didn't have any on the cupboard. And I wouldn't, I try hard not to buy things I won't use much of. Okay, I'm putting about another a teaspoon of the dry mustard in. Um, I'm gonna put some salt and pepper, about probably about a teaspoon each. Because this is a lot of this stuff, like the mayo it has um, has salt in it. I'm putting pepper in. Now we get to start in with the stuff. You know that you know. So this is the this is the liquid. Oh. Put in the stuff, baby. Put in that stuff. That's right. I just put an egg in there because that's the binder. I'm already throwing stuff around the kitchen, and I haven't even gotten in here. Okay. So I just want you to see how how much stuff is in here. So see, there's not a ton of liquid. There's just enough that's gonna. Oh my God, it looks like snot. That was horrible. Oh, that again. That was like a congestion, cold. Stop it. You're a bad boy. Bad That's boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the stuff we're going to put in, we'll start with the little and go to the, to the lot. All right. So I have capers here. I love capers and I love them with seafood. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put half of those capers into our um, tartar sauce that we'll make. I added to the snot. I'm going to put shallots in. You can put any kind of onion you have. I happen to have shallots in the in the fridge, so I'm going to put a bunch of those in. So, what's um, the difference between an onion and a shallot? Would you say? Great or question. You yeah, so shallots um, are in the same onion family. They have the same you know principles there. You know they they um, make your eyes water when you go to cut them, but they're milder and they're sweeter. So I like like usually I'll use them as a swap out for for Bermuda or red or purple onion, however you call it. Um, I just like them because they're sweeter. If I have them in the house, I use them to the end. I love them pickled. I love them sautéed. I love them caramelized. I love them in in everything. So so they're kind of my go to. I also find them a lot easier to cut. Like I don't cry nearly as much with a shallot as I do with um, with other onions. All right, then I'm going to put a bunch of, um, they call for bell pepper, but I did a nice confetti off of a bunch of these. I love these little baby bell peppers. They're so easy to cut. You and your snacking peppers, I tell you. I love these. I, I go through at least two bags a week, at least. I love them. But look at how they're, really at how sweet. Sweet. they're cut so finely, right? I. <laughs> I'm usually the hack with a knife, so I'm putting those in, and we're gonna get uh, get happy with that. All right, then I have the crab, and I have the breadcrumbs. 
and I have equal amounts. And this is what makes me so sad about this being $25 worth of crab. Oh my God, if I were, I don't, I, don't, I know I sound like- $25, a no, I, I better start cussing soon. I mean, no, right? So you don't need this crab more than- $25, is that like jumbo lump crab? I'll just go ahead and pull out the- That's it, right? That's exactly- uh, what $25. I know, if I hadn't already told you guys that I was making crab cakes i would have done something beautiful with this that you know that i wouldn't have touched it because it was gorgeous but i said crab cakes so we're gonna put the there we go we put it in wow thank you i go and now the bread to kind of hold the whole thing together i'm gonna put this and in my house because because i do gluten-free that's a gluten-free bread and now you're gonna see it's like it's mostly other stuff it'll still it's gonna be really good It'll be very, very good. I'm, you know, who am I kidding? But, um, but it's, it did make me a little sad. I was like, really, is this the only one I can get? That's it. What's the, what's my swear jar up to now? I, I started with five. I think I'm up to ten. <laughs> Are you? I love that. Okay, there we go. See, that's what that looks like. So that is all ready to go. If you have parsley in the house and you want to put something green in there, parsley would be really lovely in this. I've run through all of I'm of the school that you want more crab than you want breadcrumbs, though. I, I judge a restaurant by that. I would agree with you. The hard part is getting them to kind of stick together. So I I tend to, if I'm gonna do um if I'm gonna do crab cakes, I tend to go one to one on that. Um where um where I add volume is is in the vegetables. Like I put more shallots and I put more peppers. I put a lot more flavor um, in there. I put more seasoning. Like I'm looking at this. Like see see this color? That needs a bit more smoked paprika. I and can just I have a good question. Could you sub sal salmon if you wanted salmon cakes? Yeah. Crab cakes? Yeah, absolutely could. You know, just about any kind of meat that comes in a can could could go into this. Um, I would say you could do tuna in this. You could even do canned chicken in a in a crab cake. But it wouldn't be called a crab cake. It'd be called a chicken cake. Uh, but <laughs> that is so wrong. <laughs> Can't be doing no fucking chicken cakes. <laughs> I tried so hard not to say fucking. Yeah, you could. Like if you were looking at your, you know, your fridge and your pantry, and you're like, "What am I going to have for dinner?" And the only thing you have is a can of chicken. Oh my God. <laughs> fucking chicken cakes again. <laughs> All right, this is going in the fridge. So V, come back and talk to them. Give them your um your wine. Um your <laughs> do your do your wine because I gotta wash my hands and put this in the fridge. Okay. So you have to rub me now. All right. All right, guys. So I wanted to do a, a wine review. Now let me ask you this question. If you're eat like we're gonna talk about red wines and white wines. When do you drink a red wine? When do you drink a white wine? Who knows? We're having crab cakes and grilled shrimp tonight what so what would should you have a red wine or a white wine let me hear the answers real quick how do you know what to to eat who knows who knows i need some answers up here red or white red or white with our crab cakes and our shrimp cocktail who knows and wait for some answer ashley wants white wine with breakfast <laughs> That's because you have 10 kids. <laughs> Nancy has white wine. Juliet has white wine. White, white, white. All right. White. Okay. White. All right. Let me ask Sandy. Sandy, do you know if you are having seafood, what color wine should you be drinking? I think it depends on the seafood and the preparation. So in general, if I know nothing else about the dish, I do white wine with it. But wow. if I'm doing something like salmon, I love red wine with salmon, Whoa. you know, or if I were doing something with a, like a creamy sauce, which I don't do very often, but if it, you know, yes. like you want something to cut through that, a beautiful yeah. would, would do that. So what would you do? Uh, wow. You kind of got the answer, right? <laughs> the answer is it doesn't matter. It's you drink the wine that you like that, that goes well with, with, uh, with whatever you're eating. So Sandy's right. A lot of people think that you have to drink white wines with seafood. It's just not true. So um, tonight, I'm actually doing a cap. It's just what I had. So I have I picked this one up. And again, the, we're not getting paid. There's no sponsorship or anything like that. This is a nice big Cabernet Sauvignon 
from Napa C County, right? It's called Oberon. This is the 2018 vintage. So California, Napa is known for its big cabs, big, bold flavors, um, not a lot of fruit, some nice, rich tannins. This Cabernets are something you need to grow up to. <laughs> so let me tell you how this works. <laughs> when you're 16, <laughs> When you're 16 in high school, you start with Boone's, okay? Maybe before Boone's, you might even, you you, you do, you know, the, um, the uh, <laughs> like the Mad Dog 2020, the Boone's, the wine coolers. Who remembers of the Bartles and James wine cooler? I always had to have the strawberry and kiwi, <laughs> Bartles and James. And then when you're ready to grow up, <laughs> You'll step into, like, start with a Chardonnay or a Sauvignon Blanc, a white wine. It's lighter. And then you want to move into the fruitier reds, which are Pinot Noirs, Merlots. And eventually you'll get to the King Cab. And once you get to the King Cab, you'll get to, like, yeah, yeah, these other wines are okay. But, you know, Cab's kind of where it's at, all right? So I just happen to have a Cab. So, I, so I'm, I'm drinking a Cab tonight. That's it. Now, I don't want to take up all of Sandy's time, but... This is a stemless wine glass. And then the colors is this nice deep red, you know, you don't want to be able to see through it. <laughs> Otherwise it's, it's a wine cooler. Well, actually, you know, before you, before you start the white wines, you'll, you'll go to a to wine in a box. <laughs> Who remembers wine in a box? There's, <laughs> there's actually pretty good uh, wines in a box now. And the screw cap wines, there's actually pretty good screw cap wines now too. So uh, get something you like to drink and just sip it and just 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 enjoy the meal. With that, <laughs> I'll bring back with Sandy. <laughs> too funny. Well, um, you know what's so funny is I try to um, shortchange that with my boys. So you know, I've got I've got three boys in their twenties, and since they if they have been teenagers, I've been putting uh, Macallan Twelve in their um, in their stockings. So wow. <laughs> a little size. Yeah. My theory is this V. Um, I want them to really love the good stuff mm -hmm. and not be able to afford it. Um, <laughs> Cause you can get drunk on a lot of cheap stuff and it's a bad hangover, but if they like the good stuff, they're, they, you know, and they don't have the budget for a lot, they're going to be in much better shape. Lambrusco. Oh we got God, yeah. wines. We're just talking about all this stuff. Lisa, oh, yeah. red wine is her dessert. Ooh, red wine, oh, little cheese right. plate, cheese and fruit plate, excellent dessert. Totally. All it's right, like, do you guys want to see what I'm doing? Pecans. Yeah, what are you doing? All right, so here, let's start with this one. So I got these beautiful wild caught shrimp. Um, they're blue. Um, it's just the the um, the breed, and they came with shells on. So what I do is, let me get right up close here. Is I break the shell right above the tail. And it's super, like you can see, it doesn't take a knife or anything. These haven't been, um, they were, they're not the ones that split down the middle, so you can peel the shells easy. No, nope, no, nope, these are not, not done down the middle. These are simply just, um, just heads off and, 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 uh, sent to the, sent to the packing district. <laughs> but if someone wanted to get the ones that are already filleted in half and deveined for you, that's okay. Totally. Oh, that's totally okay. I'm just going to show you what to do in case you ever get the ones that, that aren't. Because um, again, I didn't have a huge amount of, of uh, choice on this. So I like to leave the tail on because it just makes it nice when, you, when you're when you eating um, shrimp cocktail to have the tail to hold on to. Um, and I think like like anything, when you can, can leave the sh any amount of the shell on, it cooks it better, like it cooks flavor into it. Then I take the shell and I did this already with a, with a bunch of these and I put them in a bag Keep in my freezer, and when I have enough, I make a, um, a seafood stock. Makes awesome. You know what I do with those? Tell me, what do you, you oh, eat I, them? I do actually, if mm -hmm. I cook them with it. But um, those you can bury into uh, your garden. <gasps> really? Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, Hi. even if even if you've cooked them already, they're yeah. still good in your garden. They have um, they add oh. calcium to the soil for like tomatoes and that's a lot true. of veggies. All right, well, I'll make my stock and then put them in the garden. All right, so then you have them and you have their little backs are all round. And what I do is just take a little paring knife and I cut part way into it, okay? Cut it about halfway down. And what you're looking for, there is a, let's see if I can I can find it on this one. That's a beautiful blue knife you have there. Can I, show, 
Yeah. You know, I just happen to have. <laughs> we can compare. Oh, I love that black knife. That's beautiful. It looks very sharp, too. I'm not going to. Uh, this is not a hint at all about the prize you could win, baby. <laughs> all right. So this is the black matte knife or what, man? That is sexy, baby. <laughs> all right. So this one, this one already, the the uh, the little black thing, this is what the intestine looks like. Whoa. Do you want to we take call it, We call it the veining, but it's really the intestine, right? It's the intestine, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm told you can eat it, but I, it just is a little nasty. So I like to cut these open. It takes a little bit of time if you get them this way. See, even this one, but most of them have, uh, have it already, it's already come out. So it must have come out with the head. It's all, it's all I can think. I don't know. Uh, but this is, when you do it this way, then they butterfly when you cook them. So it's it's really, it's so lovely. Yeah, see, this one's in bits. And so this one already, it, they do, they must pull out with the head because um, I'm not getting it every single time and I'm cutting pretty deeply into it. Now, what if you don't butterfly it and devein it? Is that okay? I, you know, you can eat it. It's their intestine. I don't think it's going to make you sick. It's just a little unsightly. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I wouldn't. It's just, but that's just me. But yeah. I don't. Well, I like the presentation when it when you cook it, it blooms. Oh. It's just really. Me too. Me too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast these. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a um, a garlic oil. So I've got avocado oil in here. I've got a, you know about two tablespoons of my favorite, one of my favorite avocado oils. Hey Sue, nice to see you. Um, and then I've got to look for again going back to it, garlic paste. We're just gonna put a little bit of that in there. And then we're gonna rouge it up. So, what, so why don't you chop your garlic? Because you know, I, I was I, I was uh, watching a cooking show about this, and and the more processed your garlic is, it loses a lot of the garlic flavor. And yeah. I use the, the jars of pre-diced garlic they say is ter terrible, which I agree with because yeah. I bought a, a jar of it, and then I was like, this tastes like shit. No, Ooh. it does. Oh. I agree because it gets oxidation. I like this stuff because it's already an oil. So when I'm doing something like like a salad and I don't mind, or something in the pan where I don't mind bits of it, of, of the um, of the garlic to taste it. I think that's fine. And something like this where I want every single one of my shrimp coated um, and I want it coated equally. Um, I like using the paste because it just makes sure that I'm, you know, I'm getting there. Otherwise I have to mince it to like such a small level that I'm, uh, you know, that it's a, it's a lot of work. And, and so I do mince a lot of garlic, but, I like the tube and I like to show you guys the tube too, because I want you to know that this is a perfectly reasonable shortcut. Um, all right. So I'm going to take the oil. Super simple. I mean, I'm literally just going to take, and I want to get all the little bits of garlic out of the, out of the bottom. I want them all coated and I'm trying not to touch them. So I don't have to wash my hands a second time. Andy, can you lower your camera down more towards the, the yeah. yeah. There you go. Can you see? Beautiful. I've tried a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different um, camera angles now. A couple of different tools. I think V, I'm gonna have to have you come out to my house um, and and give There's me a fucking pandemic going on. What's wrong with you, woman? I know, I know. When it's over, wait. How many words did he just say? How, okay, swear jar people. Who's counting? <laughs> Nobody's counting. All right, so I just I'm put one fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so see, I just put. Garlic oil, salt and pepper, all right? So this is, V, come on back and do something fun. I'm gonna put this into the oven. All right, all right. Well, I got nothing fun, but that's awesome. Uh, oh my God, what, what's my swear jar total up to? Oh, <laughs> it's up to a lot. It's no, it's not, no. <laughs> all right, clean up my space a little bit while, uh, while you're- You're happy, Kirby. While you're- messing around okay now the next thing the next thing while we're waiting on the crab cakes so we're waiting on the shrimp to cook because we've got a sauce for each one okay so we're gonna make tartar sauce um tartar, tartar sauce, sauce is unhealthy not the way i make it i'm food 2.5ing it okay that's all right, that's all right. <laughs> okay oh my god <laughs> have a little more wine okay all right, so the way to food 2.5 it is put more mustard in than mayonnaise. Make it more tangy, so you're gonna make it almost more like a dressing and put more bulk into it, 
Okay, so I've got, here, let me show you this jar. I've got these beautiful Cornish on pickles. So tartar sauce is basically pickles and, and mayonnaise. Like when you get down to the core of it, they put a few other things in for flavor, but that's really it. So I love these. I don't know if you've ever had these. I never knew yeah. that tartar sauce is pickles and mayonnaise. Yeah, pickle relish and mayonnaise is the way it started. <laughs> like even I've more. Always, I've always thought it was like some sort of amazing white people food that I <laughs> I, I was like, Asians don't, <laughs> don't have tartar sauce. This is crazy oh shit. This is so good. Yeah. All right. You know, I don't do pickle relish. Why? Because I'm, I'm a sauce. control freak. So we buy ingredients, not things. Um, and so I'm going to make basically a tartar sauce, but we're going to make it so that it's super flavorful and tangy and, um, and very lean. So I have these Cornish on pickles. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but these are these cute little French pickles. I love, wait, let me just pull one out because they're so pick and cute and I love these things. I always have these in the fridge because these, like it, it's a perfect little snack. These are gorgeous. Um, and it works really well on charcuterie boards and, um, you know, rolled up with a, you know, with uh, meat or cheese or anything. So anyway, so I took a bunch of them and I, um, I've got about a quarter cup there and I'm gonna put that right in. Okay, then we have the rest of the um, capers, which I love. So we're gonna, here, let's just scrape these bowls out because these are, this is good stuff. All right, then I have the rest of the shallots. So we're gonna put some of that in here too, okay? All right, let's just stir, let's see. See if I've got the proportion right. Yeah, I can put a little more shallot in there, right? In the shallots. Yes. In the <laughs> All right. Then what we do in the shallots now. <laughs> we do three to one. Oops, I did need more of that. Three to one mustard to mayo. So a, a traditional, as we were just saying before, is all mayonnaise. But I'm going to do three to one mustard to mayo. You want a little bit of mayo to make it um, creamy, but mostly. You're gonna use more of that, that Dijon. And we're gonna put a clean spoon, put about a tablespoon of the mayonnaise in. All right, stir. That's not enough mayonnaise. That is not enough mayonnaise. I, I don't use much mayonnaise, don't worry. But this is, this is so much better. You just want enough mayonnaise that your brain registers. It's like, ah, okay, I got a little fat, that's good. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of salt. Is it gonna have and, twice the flavor for half the calories? Yeah, twice the flavor for half the calories. Yes, that's a, that's exactly it. This is and this is definitely a twice the flavor kind of um, of tartar sauce. So there is tartar sauce. I could put a little more, like I could make it less chunky, but I kind of like it this way. All right. So if you want it more saucy, just do more of the mustard and mayo combo. And do less of the less of the uh, pickles and onions, but I kind of like it like this. Um, it's so good. All right. So then the other sauce, because we're doing, and I can smell them. Our shrimp are four minutes away from being done. Oh, you never see how how hot is the oven, and how long do you cook the grill the shrimp for? Roast the shrimp. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, the shrimp are in there. They're going to be in there for about ten minutes. Depends on the size of the shrimp, but the size we have is, um, you know, about 10 minutes, 425. I've got the convection setting on, so it's gonna be just fast. It's, they're gonna come out and they're gonna be so pretty. Okay, all right, so now let's make a cocktail sauce for the, um, you know, for the for the beautiful shrimp. Fat-free mayo, okay, so Pat, be careful. That's a, that's a great topic. So there's full fat, low fat, and fat-free. So what happens when, you, when you're a food manufacturer is as you're taking fat out, you've got to put ingredients in and fillers in. So I, and I think we agree on this V, I go full fat and use less or I go low fat, but I'm really careful on the low fat. You have to look at those I agree. ingredients. I agree. I agree with that. Low fat. Um, but fat free means that they put other shit to make up. <laughs> exactly. exactly. So I'd rather take something like this and put water or put um, rice vinegar in it um, and just use use less or add add mustard to it and make a mustard mayo combo. That's it. I just trained my palate to really prefer that. So, all right. So then with the shrimp, you get, um, you need a cocktail sauce. And what a cocktail sauce is basically a doctored up ketchup. 
So I am gonna put I'm gonna put ketchup in here, and then I'm gonna show you exactly. Stop it. You're like blowing my mind tonight. It's just ketchup <laughs> that's been doctored up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's all it is. And basically it's darked it up with mostly horseradish sauce. <laughs> I thought there was like some white person in the background, like like what do you look at my cocktail sauce? <laughs> Secret white people recipe here. Yeah, no, no secrets here. Okay, ketchup. All right. I put about a quarter cup, maybe closer to half a cup, because I, I like tartar sauce. Or I mean I like the, the cocktail sauce. I'm using this brand. I was super surprised. I think I did this the last time I was um on with you guys. But this this ketchup is was on sale for like two dollars. And if you look at the ingredients, the ingredients are tomatoes, tomato paste, cane sugar, water, onions, vinegar, lime juice, salt, green bell peppers, and allspice. Like that's a that's a decent list. Like, <laughs> and it was on it was on sale for half price. And I'm like, uh, I'm in. I'll, I'll get some. So. Then the next that I have. I think you bring up a good point though, because a lot of like ketchup is like just sugar water, red sugar water. And we yeah, have to exactly. be careful about that. Yeah. And that's why we don't want to buy cocktail sauce. Why? Because mm. we're control freaks. Okay. <laughs> and we want to. Because it's red sugar water. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So then the next. But oh, well, let me, before you do that, but that yeah. ketchup, that's a big bottle. So that'll last you for a long time. Yeah. Two dollars. That's all it was. Two dollars. Two dollars. Exactly. What I'm afraid of. Two dollars. Nobody knows how good this is, and it's two dollars because the grocery store was kind of clear it out. So that just makes me um, makes me crazy. So I'm hoping that by doing the two dollars, that a lot of other people try it and they go, "God, that's pretty decent." So I don't use a ton of ketchup, but on something like this, I'd rather start with ketchup than um, than tomato sauce. But anyways, if you can't find a good ketchup, another option would be. To, to start with um, tomato sauce, and then you can figure out what the add-ins need to be. All right, so for our cocktail sauce now, the base of, basis of it is mostly what you're gonna put horseradish. What type of sauce? Horseradish. What type of sauce? Okay, is that a bad word? Hold on, is that a bad word, horseradish? I, get, I have a hard time what saying type of, What type of red sauce? <laughs> Oh, the red sauce. Oh, the spicy red sauce from an Asian country. No, the one you're making right now. It has a chicken on it. Um, yeah, I'm making tartar sauce. Oh God, did I say the wrong word? Oh no, you're not making tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is um, white. Shoot. Yeah, white people make tartar sauce. Yeah, I'm making. <laughs> What's the tartar sauce? I'm making cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm gonna go in now. Know that I know, right? Right, horseradish is very strong, so better to go light and know what your tolerance is and keep adding. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put about half a tablespoon, not even that, a third of this. This is like a teaspoon um, into here. I think that's gonna be plenty. Now, no, what you can do at this point is if you've got too much horseradish, go back to your ketchup and put ketchup in. Okay, <laughs> all right. But you want to put you want to put some horseradish in enough that you get that flavor. All right, then what we want is we want just a little bit of a kick. So we're gonna use this. Dr. V, can you tell me again what this is called? Can you tell me? Spicy red garlic sauce. <laughs> yes, it is a it is red cock. <laughs> <laughs> and I put about I put about half a teaspoon because I'm kind of a I'm Did kind you of a, put a red cock in that. Yes. I'm not cooking it, so I won't be choking on the red cock tonight. <laughs> I'll be, I'm just good. All right. So I've got that. Oh, and you then, know, based on a red talk before. That was funny. Oh my God. That really, it actually was kind of funny. I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. I'm going to take lemon. I'm putting about, oh, about half of a half. So again, we're at a quarter of a lemon. Oh my gosh. And I'm getting seeds all in my, in my nice sauce. You guys didn't see that. Cause I would never do that. I'm a professional. <laughs> all right. Now I just need to taste. I'm just putting my finger right in. Okay, that's really good. Okay, let me get the shrimp. Come on back, Dr. V. I'm back. <laughs> All right, I'm coming in. And that sauce. Ooh, oh, the review. How pretty those are. Look at, and you can tell they're done because they went from that opaque blue to just a beautiful white. These are <gasps> these are just so pretty. Look at that. Oh, hold All it right. up close to the camera. Hold it up close to the camera. Hold one up close to the camera. 
I'm going right in. Look at that. Look at here. Let me find a pretty one that's all butterfly. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, God, that is gorgeous. And all it has on it is garlic and um, avocado oil and salt and pepper. That's it. But they come, I like doing them in the oven like this instead of doing them um, doing them on the stove top because they retain so much more flavor. And I like this technique because I can already tell rather than boiling them where you kind mm -hmm. of just like the flavor, you're really exactly. getting it, yeah? Exactly, all right, so since those are hot, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you a quick, just a darling. Um, here, you're filling up your glass. I fill up my glass. Ooh, I just have mine with cucumber water tonight. So I, because I got to get through a bunch of dishes. <laughs> I was in the martini glass you were filling up. Okay, wait. I'll show you in just a second. Let me just get a nice wedge of lemon. Okay, we're going to put that wedge of lemon there. I did not cut that big enough. And then, can you see? Oh, let's see. I'm coming back here. And we're just gonna float a couple of these right, right in this glass. Here we go. Look at how pretty that is. What do you think, V? Would you eat that? That's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? And I just That's took a, nice. a really basic martini glass off my shelf. You could take anything off your shelf and use it. But I just love that. Parsley, if you can chop some parsley if you want to, or cilantro. You could garnish <laughs> it with little onions. Yep. There's yeah. a lot of different things. I've got a few cucumbers here. Here, let me put throw a few. Oh, cucumbers would be nice and refreshing, a little crisp taste. Exactly. And I'm telling you, a lot of people who are watching are bariatric surgery patients. So that could be like almost like the main meal, most of that meal. Beautiful. And I love this. You know, so, you know, small celebrations, what we tend to do is we don't tend to sit at our, our dining room table. We'll go out in the living room, we'll put a fire in the fireplace. Um, you know, we have chairs around it and a, and a, um, you know, and a table around. So I like food like this that you can sit in the chair and eat comfortably and it just feels special. It does. It does. I, I've uh, gotten my four year old Mason to start eating slices of cute. She loves slices of cucumber and slices of tomatoes. And she doesn't Perfect. like it's like I have to eat a veggie and she'll just eat it every meal. Yeah. You could, you could totally uh, kind of salad that by even. Yeah, chopping some salad leaves on there, or yeah. Let me show you another one because we're gonna do yeah. we're gonna do this with the um, the crab cakes. But let me just show you. So I've got I've got these beautiful. Oh, I love what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. You gave so me all excited. Sandy, yeah. excited. <laughs> okay, you're gonna be going to the swear jar. Okay, so then we can put some cucumbers in here. I'll show you this with the with the crab cakes too. But this, I'll just get this started. Um, and then I've got some tomatoes, right? So now you've got a salad and you can put a few shrimp right down in there. Let me just put a shrimp right like that. Ah! Damn, there we go. It's a great idea. So it's like you can make alternate like times. You can make one with the salad, one without the salad, and people can pick and choose. Exactly. Well, we don't make them. You can put in your cocktail sauce. <laughs> My cocktail sauce is really quite good, all right? Okay, so I've got that. Okay, I've got cocktail sauce. I'm, I'm starting to lose my way here. Um, let's see, oh, now I've made my sauces. Let me go, um, let me go get the, um, the crab cakes and start making those, okay? And I will show you guys what that looks like. Yeah, I'm excited to see these because yeah, you know, for me, like white people food, I like crab cakes. So, like I'm just like Asian. <laughs> There are no Asian crab cakes. If you go to an Asian restaurant and they're offering crab cakes, like <laughs> I would <laughs> <do this>. <laughs> we don't yeah. have Asian crab cakes. Yeah. All right. So while I'm making these, I'm gonna heat up some um, avocado oil. I've learned with you I don't heat the oil now before I get on. <laughs> because the timing is never what I expect it to be. And I burn oil <laughs> every, every single show. <laughs> All right. So I have these cool things. I've shown these to you before. Um, I have different sizes. I like this one. I, I think this is. Oh, yeah. Bariatric patients know what those things are. They're called ice cream scoopers. <laughs> <Is that what? laughs> Don't to get all fancy on me, girl. Those okay. are ice cream scoopers, yo. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make I'm gonna make crab cakes with them. And you're going to see how easy it is. So look it. So I, I just press it into the scoop just as if it were ice cream. And then and then press it out. So I've got crab cake. All right. 
So I'm going to make a couple more of those. Is there a uh, level of thickness you want versus thinness, radius, so that it, <laughs> you know, you want sure it cooks in the middle, yeah? So everything that's in here is cooked that needs to be, um, except for the egg. The egg needs a little bit of cooking. So you want, you want enough thickness that um, you get a lot of surface area. Um, you want, because you want the brown bits on the outside of it, and you don't want it so thick. Oh gosh, see, I'm, I'm falling apart here. Um, you don't want it so thick that, uh, you know, that the center is cold. So you're, I, I'm looking to press about, you know, to a quarter inch, maybe half okay. inch. We've half got some controversy inch. on the chat. Some people are calling those um, melon ball scoopers, and some people are calling those cookie scoopers. Really? I think um, if you look on Amazon, I think they're just called scoops. Um, I think I'm I, wrong. I use these I think they're I use for meatloaf. I use them for, for when I'm baking. Like I use them for uh, muffins because it, it then um, makes them all um, equal in size. Um, I use them um, for cookies. Absolutely. Are you, are you saying size matters in this case? Is this <laughs> are you just really trying? Yes. These balls. <laughs> yes. Are you saying the size, matter, size of the balls matter? <laughs> Size of the balls definitely matter. They yeah, got her. I got her to say it, everybody. There you go. There you go. All right. So I am, um, this is feeling pretty hot. Let me just test. Yep. So we're going to, we're going to put those down in. Let's hope that these have been sitting long enough. I can tell that they're a little bit, they're kind of falling apart. This is better if you make this, like I usually make it in the morning and then I come and make them um, in, you know, I cook them in the evening. So this is a little bit fast. They haven't had enough time to really just set. So say again, yeah, yeah. Um, how long you want them to sit for? I think a couple of hours. You know, you really want them to chill down so that they, you know, they hold together. Yes. To chill the fuck out. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So it looks like we're going to get out of this eight ounces and, and with everything that we've added to it for, I would probably get about a dozen, um, you know, a, a dozen crab cakes out of this this size. So these are nice, like, like silver dollar size. You know, it is an ice cream scoop. That's awesome. All right. So that is that. We're going to let those cook. I'm going to wash my hands because now I've, I've just touched everything with me. <laughs> <laughs> like you touched meat with your hands. <laughs> I, I touched the shrimp. I touched the crab. I'm like, I got to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's for me with her hands. That's. I mean, she said it. I didn't say it. So no. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yes. Um, all right. Don't you know, so, touch the red cock with your hands. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I'm. I'm a mess tonight, and I'm a. I'm a perfect target when I get this many recipes going. I get this deep into the evening. I, did she say deep? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I I guess say Hey, we missed last week, so I'm trying to make up two weeks in cup jar, guys. I know. No, no, no. We had to. We had to do this. All right. So, the, <laughs> so we're gonna let those cook. They're gonna take just a little bit of time. We're gonna flip them over. They'll get crispy on both sides. I've got them in my everyday pan that I use for nearly everything. This is a Staub cast iron. It's not enamel. Um, I love it because it's um, it it helps make that um that crispy bit on the outside of it i think it just makes the flavor of the food so much better um so i was trying to come up with something for crispy bit and i just couldn't <laughs> okay <laughs> so it wouldn't be good no, 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 stay away from the crispy bits yeah. um, all right well, well those, that right how long do you cook this for i you know what I, i'm gonna cook them until they're they're crispy brown um, so there's no, there's no real set time, but I'm going to guess, you know, some seven or eight minutes, they're going to be done. Now you wouldn't call that a, that's not a shallow fry. Cause you barely have some oil, right? It's just, I call it more of a saute. saute than a shallow. Right? Yeah, yeah. Cause you could almost do this dry. If you didn't want any oil at all, you mm -hmm. could, you know, you could spray the pan and cook these just fine. I like just a little bit of oil though. Cause it just makes, that makes you everything better. Crispy yeah. Bit. <laughs> yeah. You make the crispy My bit. hair has like stood up more since we started. <laughs> <laughs> Did I fix my hair right before we went on air? I, I specifically said, Sandy, I need to go fix my hair. I know you did. And, and I said, no, no, it looks fine, me. It looks fine. How long needs to rewind this? Because I think this is all like new, all this. Shit. <laughs> I think it's because you're harassing me so badly. No, I think it's because these recipes are so hot. 
We're a fire. <laughs> That's right. All right. So I'm thinking, while these are cooking, I'm going to make you a dessert. Um, and this is um, I, this is sort of a cheater because I've I've made pieces of this, but I've never pulled it together like this before. Um, so I'm going to just apologize right now because I'm I'm kind of doing a repeat. But this is this is so good, it's worth it. All right. So what I'm going to do, let me just get everything over here. I made this beautiful, um, absolutely gorgeous faux caramel. Let me just hold that up so you can see that. I mean, it looks like dark chocolate. All it is, is I took the dates, massive dates like this, put, um, I put it in hot water. So I poured boiling water over like, you know, two dozen of them. I, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what did I say? I'm back to the size again. The massive, day. massive size. Yes, <laughs> I can't. I, how can I do this? All right. So pour boiling water over it gently, and um, and let them soften. Okay. Then what you want to do is take the pits out of them, and that takes maybe maybe ten minutes. I pour water over it, and then just let them sit. The pits are right there. Then you've got these beautiful. Beautiful dates. So then I take, um, <laughs> yeah, Holly Joe. Yeah, you make him say that. Um, so then I take these and put them in the food processor. Um, and you let it go for a while. Now, I have a cheap food processor, so it, it takes a long time. I had to go four or five minutes, but it starts whooshing. Um, and it goes from this color to like a light, kind of almost yellow. And then you can add, uh, it's not Vegemite. Trust me on this one. <laughs> okay, how the viewers start cussing? <laughs> I do, <know>, right? <laughs> it's not Vegemite. I promise I've had Vegemite. That shit is terrible. Like five cussing viewers. <laughs> I do, I know, right? Okay, well, let me just let me just get to the end of this. So that process this, whoosh it so there's air. I've got a whole video on how to do it. And then I add vanilla extract at the end and sea salt. And this stuff is so good. So I'm gonna get, hang on, I need my, my little scooper. I don't know where all my stuff is going. You pop up the dates, you take out the pits, you process, you process them and yeah. vanilla and sugar and salt. No sugar, the, the date is the sugar. Just vanilla and, and salt, that's all you need. All right, I'm gonna, I can see. What's that? Agave nectar? No. You don't need it because the dates are so sweet. So you don't need, you do not add any sweetness to that. Sandy, Sandy, how long has it been since you've had a sweet date? <laughs> <laughs> not since you <laughs> It has been far too long. Okay. All right. So just so you all know, I've been talking too much and I have burned these poor babies. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna keep going and pretend that I didn't. I'm gonna flip them back over to the non-burn side. All right, so these um this date puree. Look at this. All right, we're gonna put this right right in the center there. We're gonna put a little bit more. We'll stack it up a little bit. All right, and then what we're gonna do? Camille says the date mixture lasts long in the fridge too. What do you? That's that's been in there for two months. <laughs> So yes, it lasts a long two months. <laughs> yeah, because we don't eat very much of it. And seriously, we don't eat very much of it at all. Oh my god, that's a long ass thing. All right, so you could do, you have a choice now. I've got I've got beautiful honey crisp raw apples here, and I'm just making a, a a pretty a pretty plate with them. But the other thing you could do with these is, um, and we're gonna sprinkle cinnamon on them. Um, but you can take them and and just put the apples with cinnamon into the um into the microwave and you can faux bake the apples too and kind of just pile this up i'm afraid i'm going to end up with too much cinnamon so i'm, I'm kind of hang on let's just let's just make sure i there we go let's do it the smart way okay there we go we're going to put just a little bit of cinnamon over the top of it this smells so good this smells like christmas right here like all i'm doing literally no sugar just sprinkling cinnamon over the top of it and then Oh, Same whipped cream. Whipped cream. You could do whipped cream, but I did toasted nuts instead. Yes. <laughs> That's even better. Right there. Right there. Toasted nuts. Just <laughs> really Are they hot? <laughs> yeah, they were at one point. They've hot now they've, they've cooled to the touch. <laughs> there we go. All right. 
So that's that's option one. You could put these in the just the apples in the microwave with cinnamon and make faux baked apples. They're so good. Or you could take all those apples, put them in a big tray, uh, you know, like a Pyrex dish, cinnamon over the top, put it in the oven, you know, and and then layer that up with this date date caramel. It's so good. Um, despite the fact that I did not add sweetener to it, I think it's actually really quite good. All right, let me just make sure I don't burn the second side. Our, our, our long time fan and father, Christina Whitaker, says, Diz nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. These are okay, so I have, I have way talked too long. I'm going to take the one that isn't totally burned to, in this submission. <laughs> Did we burn your cake? Your yeah, we totally, burned, we totally burned the cake. So that's okay. <laughs> You're going to go a little less burnt than this. But look at how cute these are. So then, if you go back to, let's go back to this one. I'm going to take this. Donkey! This is like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, listen, you'd be so cut. I would so totally be cut. But you know what? Nobody in my house is going to complain. They're having crab cakes tonight. Oh, my God. All right. So I would make a salad like this. I put some tomatoes, some cucumbers in there. I would take some of this beautiful tartar sauce. Kind of pile that up right there. There you go. And have that with a crab cake. How cute is that? Wow. That, whoa! Give it up. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. Got shrimp cocktail. Ooh. We've got crab cakes. And we've got faux caramel apples. Right? And I like how you did it all seasonally, like in the fest, very festive uh, little glasses we and martini glasses and we even all we all need that don't we this is a tough year uh, it's hard i know everyone keeps saying are you in the, the christmas mood i'm like no actually i'm really not you know i <laughs> you know so this will really help the, the what are we very, celebrating this year <laughs> no i know right we're gonna be just just uh you know same people that were here at thanksgiving it's just another meal but you know but you, you do a little special you know you try and make it oh nice yeah Oh, yeah. So that's what we're doing. Getting a lot of applause. That's awesome. Oh, good. And I'll post these. I'll post these up. I'm going to post them. Where should I post them, V? Food 2.5? Yeah. Yeah, your, your okay. fan page. And we'll right. post the club and the fan page. You'll have to do both. Beautiful. I'll take take pictures before we eat this. And um, I'll make another round of crab cakes um, that aren't burnt. <laughs> we're all done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe we've already gone an hour. I just, oh, no. Ashley, what's the total price? What, what do I owe? I know, right? I five, so there's already five in the swear jar. I want to tell, I want to show you the prize, okay? Show the prize, because the prize is good. You like it, right? I do. Only for people in the Club 2.5. Tell them what, what is, yeah. you know, what is the Club 2.5? And then I'll tell them what I think the Club 2.5 is, and we'll see. Awesome. All right. Well, to me, what Club 2.5 is, is the um, the nuts and bolts um, to put into action what you're doing. <laughs> I said it again, and I'm going to say, I, if I could say balls, if I could figure out a way to say balls when I describe this, I would. But it's no, it's really the, the tactics and the strategies. I mean, it's great to know that, you know, you need to do this and that you need to lose weight and you need to eat healthier. But how do you do it? Um, so we've got a really simple way of amping up the flavor, taking out a lot of the excess calories, but making it still feel like it's really special food. Um, and it's fun. Um, we have a group of um, in there that just absolutely love to experiment with things. Um, and I can tell you every time I do a live and I do recipes, I've got people posting pictures of the version they've done, which makes me so happy. So I, I love our food 2.5 group or, and it's um, really, it's the club 2.5 that, um, you know, that we do all the, the super fun things in. I've done recipes for homemade creamers. Um, so that you can get off of um, off the bottle creamers, and and I'm getting rave reviews on that. Um, I've I've put up recipes for meatball soup. I love this. So um, you know, Shanna, who's in in your group that that you all know, um, she considered herself the the, the um, canned food queen, and she's now making a like a 20 step soup from scratch. So I'm I'm 
totally um, thrilled. So we do lives um, four times a week. We do recorded videos on the other three. Um, we're constantly putting up little tips. We've got um, my my partner, uh, V's partner is um, is Doug Harrison. Um, so we've got choose love moments that that are happening on Mondays now. So we have um, we have a tremendous amount of fun and, and we learn a lot in the process. And what I think I do is I help you love food again, um, because if you all have been on diets like I've been on diets, you can get kind of a an antagonistic relationship with food. And uh, and I want you to love feeding yourself. Well, that's what we are. Oh, that was awesome, Sandy. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. All right, let me tell you what the fuck to do right now. <laughs> Sandy is so sweet. You guys have to join 2.5, food2.5.com right now. You have to do it. It's the best thing. All right, so Sandy and I have been working on this along with Doug, our partner, and it, it is a monthly subscription. It is a monthly subscription, but what are you going to get for this? You're going to get daily lives, right? She said, what did she say? Four lives a week. We do cooking demos twice a week, one with me, one without me. We've got this awesome thing called Purge the Pantry, where we go through and we clean out your pantry, right? And and the fridge, we, we, we walk you through the refrigerator. We show you what to get rid of, what to add, what recipes to make, right? The whole, you might have seen the swearing thing, the swear jar. Every time I swear or say something inappropriate, I put it into a jar and um, a, 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 a club 2.5 member gets to win that at the end of every month. Plus that winner, the winner of the swear jar also gets a, a free prize every month. Guess what the prize, guess what the swear prize is this month? Who wants to know? Who wants to see the swear prize? Let me show you the swear prize, okay? So this is bomb. Now listen, you're only gonna be, like as a surgeon, you're only as good as your tools, okay? And so to be a weight loss person, weight loss uh, patient, a uh, cook in the in the in the kitchen, you're only gonna be as good as your tools. So check this shit out. Is this not sexy? I got for you guys the our very first prize for the Food 2.5 Club is this amazing knife set. It's got this two-plated acrylic design. So you can actually see the knives and the knives are this amazing matte black. It's got steak knives there in the back. It's got paring knives. I don't agree with this, but you might like that. That says, can y'all see that? It says pizza. <laughs> it's a pizza knife. It's got, this is a cheese knife, right? So we get all sorts of fancy on you. We got a long thin filet knife. We got, the chef's knife. It's got everything in here, man. This is awesome. Um, this is a bread knife. And this is not sponsored, guys. I want you all to know, Dr. V, this is my money. I bought this, right? Sandy will come back and tell you. This is not sponsorship money. You got to have some kitchen shears. Um, I like this one. Look at this bad boy. Look, it comes with this heavy-duty um, peeler. It's got a couple different teeth sets there. Isn't that awesome? But wait, there's more. It also comes with this handy dandy sharpener. So you hold it like that, right? And this sits on the countertop and it looks awesome. How badass is that? Okay, so this is our first giveaway prize. And we have a cool thing that we're gonna do. You'll get you'll enter into a drawing and you'll have multiple opportunities to enter. And the more things that you do, the more times your name goes into the jar, the swear jar. And then I'll pull out your name. And then I won't send you that one. I'll get you a fresh brand new one. <laughs> so I've been trying this. Believe it or not, I've been using this. And it's a really good set. It's very sharp, very stable. I really I really enjoy it. Um, so I'll send you um, to your address um, a brand new bag. And then a bag, a brand new prize. And then I'll, I'll, um, I'll PayPal you or Venmo you the money for the swear jar. I'm not going to send you cash. Sorry. <laughs> That's kind of dangerous. You can only win that if you are in the club 2.5. So we have a holiday special right now. You want to do all that, all the live shows, all the recipes, everything, the um, live cooking demos, the purge your pantry, your refrigerator. We're actually going to bring you on air. We're gonna bring you live with us. 
You're going to walk us through your pantry and say, Sandy, help me with this. Okay. So, um, and, and we're going to talk through, it's going to be so, it's so much fun. It's already so active. It's already, it's a great, great group. You'll get access to an amazing community. And what I want to do is share my screen. Let me bring Sandy on real quick. Sandy's eating. <laughs> <laughs> Working so hard on this food too. I, I have been in this kitchen with all this flavor. I'm like, I just gotta try a shrimp. It was so good. And that cocktail sauce. Oh my god. And these, even though these are burnt, these crab cakes. Oh, but real quick about the club too. Let me remove you. She's a little blurry on my end. I don't know about your end. Oh. All right. Yeah, you're a little blurry, but Sandy. Yes. Uh, right now, if they upgrade to the concierge, what's the concierge? Uh oh. Uh oh. Come back. Come back. Back. Oh, all right. Are you back? Yep. Okay. Good. All right. So you asked me about what the concierge was. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If they yeah. join tonight, what do they get? They get you, right? Yeah. They absolutely get me. I've got a few spots left for me. Um, the the concierge is one on one with me. So if you have something like you have a customized need, you have something that's like just a little bit more than what group support can be. Um, hop into the concierge. You don't have to stay in there forever. You know, um, a month or two at the concierge level would be just brilliant um, to kind of get you get you going. But what you get is you get to send me your pictures of what you're eating. I'll give you ideas on how you can change it. And I'll give you. That's so wrong. <laughs> so wrong, Terry. But thank you for that. That is hilarious. Um, but I'll give you customized. If you ask anyone who's in my concierge level, they know. They ask me for for recipes or what to do with things, or they're going into a restaurant. They're like, "What do I order?" <laughs> so they send me uh, send me the the menus from restaurants. It's hilarious. They're not going to restaurants right now though. Just takeout. Mm. <laughs> Ollie Joe is in the club. Oh, yeah. Did you freeze on me again? Oh, am I really? All right. Well, she froze on me on my side. Um, but how do you how do you get all this stuff? I want you to go to join2.5.com. I'm gonna share my screen. If you go to join2.5.com, okay, you're gonna pull up this screen right here. Okay, can y'all see this? All right. This is our uh, Sandy's got this awesome video here. I want you to play it for you. for the Food 2.5 community. My incredible team and me are live daily within this community. We're doing cooking demonstrations. We're doing new product reviews. We have incredible guests that we bring in like world-renowned bariatric surgeon, Dr. V. We do super fun activities like, like Free the Fridge Fridays. And mostly what we try to do is explore new foods and new flavors in a fun way that are super easy. Now, if you're like me, you've tried every diet imaginable. You've calculated, you've measured, you've tracked, you've sacrificed all in the name of weight loss. And it doesn't take much time before willpower starts to give out and old habits start to creep back in. Why? Because a lifetime of sacrifice is unsustainable. Our program, our program is different. It's different because it's not, not based upon sacrifice. Quite the opposite, actually. We've built a program. We've built an entire community around abundance and joy. We know, we know that you can eat the food you love and still lose weight. And what we really know is that food decisions are made individually and moment by moment across an entire day. And this means we have many opportunities to make small course corrections to bring you back on track with your weight loss goals. But this level of support is live and it's real time and it's human with someone who knows you, cares about you and cares about your success. We've designed programs around this level of support. We have Club 2.5. This is a beautiful community that's that's there to be interactive, to be based upon learning and to support each other through the process. We also have Concierge 2.5, which is more individualized, more customized and one more one-on-one -on -one level support. Either way, we're a month to month program
So come join our community. We'd love to have you. Hit subscribe on the program that meets your needs and come start living your best life one great meal at a time. Woo! What an excellent video. Give it up for Sandy. The idea is we have your success in mind. You're going to get this amazing human connection with all of the stuff that we've talked about. You're going to get inspiration. You're going to get hope. You're going to get a real plan on what to do. You're not going to be on a diet. You're going to learn how to repair your relationship with food. And today, this weekend, we're, we are opening our, um, our, our, our Club 2.5 to the general public. Our holiday special is 50% off, not one five five zero, 50% off. You get all of this. Just subscribe. Just sign up. Just try it for one month, guys. Just go in at the club level, half off. It's around $12, $12.50, 13, something like that. And you're gonna, you're gonna love it. All right. So check it out. You're gonna love it. Okay. Hit subscribe now. Don't wait. Um, and and if you've got the wherewithal, you need to sign up for the concierge two. Day. Right. So worth it. You'll have an immediate interaction with her. It's going to be amazing. There's a bunch of testimonials. Check this out. Here's Penny. One, she's a sleever. You don't have to be a weight loss surgeon, a weight loss surgery patient, but check hey, that everybody. out. I wanted to talk to you about something new and exciting that I've been working with for about a month now, and that's the Food 2.5 program with Sandy. Their motto is up the flavor and reduce the calories. It's been so much fun because I've been learning about ingredients that I haven't used or visited with for a while and flavor combinations that I haven't used for a while. I've been cooking for years, but one of the things is you kind of like cook the same thing over and over and over again. So when your family goes, oh, it's Tuesday, it must be spaghetti. Well, you know, then you need to kind of get out of your rut. So working with somebody like Sandy is great because it gives you an opportunity to really kick up your game or try do your game differently. Because if it wasn't for Sandy, I wouldn't think about, you know, caramelized onions or doing more things with tofu because I kind of have an, a thing about tofu, but I'm <laughs> willing to try and I'm willing to try and I'm doing more vegetables and I'm doing more seeds and I'm doing more grains and I'm upping my fruit and my body is really, really liking it and I'm feeling less bloated and I'm feeling less, um, you know, like arthritic and you know how, how you get when you're eating the wrong foods and your body's kind of like, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of inflammation because you're eating stuff I don't like. <laughs> so this is a great program. I highly recommend it. Check it out. That's Sandy and that's Food 2.5. Give it a shot. You're going to love it. Trust me on this one. Love ya. Bye. Hey. I, I love that testimonial. And she wasn't even like, we didn't pay her for that. That is a personal testimonial from a subscriber in the club who loves it. Let me bring Sandy back on. Are you back on? Do, do I'm I back have on. Wi Fi? Let's hey. see. Hey. Can you see me okay? Yeah, I can see you okay. Oh my gosh. That was Let so me, great. That was great testimonial. Let me ask you a couple of questions real quick. Yeah. Why did someone join Food 2.5? as opposed to Weight Watchers or something like that? Yeah, so I mean, if if, if you're a DIY person and, and you just wanna, you know, you wanna count and calculate and measure, go go to Weight Watchers, you know? But I think what Weight Watchers is missing, what we've got is how do you actually do it without having to do all of that? Like, how do you, how do you learn? Like, when you look at a plate, is that the right amount of food to eat in one sitting? Is it balanced well? Is it flavorful? Does it make me happy? Um, that's what we do. Um, Weight Watchers is just going to teach you one way to, to mechanically calculate it. I'm not saying you're bad, but I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. yeah, I like the fact that we have a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh my God, we have so much fun. Oh my God, were you there for Free the, free the Fridge on Friday? Oh, kind of busy. No. It's okay. I, it's heard, our I heard it was a lot of fun. We had a blast. They coached me through making pizza. What? Um, yeah, I had all the viewers on telling me what to make. I'm like, I've got pizza crust, I've got cheese, I've got veggies, I've got things that I've got to use. I had cranberry chutney, and that had to go on the pizza. 
Wow. That sounds like <laughs> that TV show, Chopped. What can you make with it? Hurry, go. Exactly, exactly. But so much better. <laughs> You've been chopped. <laughs> I am mean, better. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so I think, how long do you want to do this deal for, this 50% 50, 50 off? I think we will do it through um, through Christmas. So I'm kind of hoping, you know, that, uh, you know, everyone makes their Christmas decision and, and it sort of jettisons I, them. I, for I, I think we, I think they need to go before Christmas. Because I think by the time, if you wait till Christmas, people have already bought gifts and they're going to be like burnt out. They're going to be at the end of their credit card. I don't know. I, I think it's just try for one month, $12, you know, to, yeah. to come join our group for one month. Yeah. Stuffer for your family, your kids. Do it. Hey, baby, your husband and wife, you know, or, or wife and wife, you know, your couple, your spouse. So yeah. get, just be like, hey, let's do this. This will be fun. Let's try cooking this stuff. Our gift to ourselves for the year. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we could. I don't think. I don't think we'll have it open that long. I don't but, think so because I think you know the we are we are over two hundred and and we've only been open for three weeks on the on that. Yeah. So you know. Hello. Ashley Kirby says you'll save twelve dollars a month with a creamer recipe. <laughs> Ashley, I love it. See, she posted it today. She made it totally her own. She made it exactly the way she wanted it with her beautiful Mexican uh, vanilla. I was totally impressed. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So come, come join us Saturday night. We're going to do cocktails. Friday night, tomorrow night, we've got uh, free the friend. Hey, what are you doing on Saturday night? We're doing we're doing holiday cocktails. The food two point five way. Come on, you know you want to know. She's doing cocktails, right. everybody. <laughs> Ashley Kirby, what's my swear jar up to? And if you want to win this badass yeah. knife set, acrylic knife set in matte black. Okay, first of all, this is not plastic. This is metal. This is steel. But it's exactly. with awesome matte black. You're going to love it. Here I love know. it. I would totally work with those knives. I've been using it for this past week, and it's super sharp. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can only win it if you're in the club. And tell them what what did have we decided how they're going to win? I know they're going to do. We're going to have them do some competitions and post. Yeah. So we're doing a, a drawing this weekend. We'll do another one when the um, when the swear jar is is at uh, it, when it's at its max. But what we're doing, New Year's Eve. <laughs> I love that. So right now we've got one going where um, they get one chance just for being in the club. They get four chances if they um, if they follow me on Vimeo, on YouTube, and on Food Two Point Five. So uh, I, I'm not shameless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when we get when we get products, you know, we, we're gonna want you to take some pictures. But I, I think the, I think what you're saying is right. I paid for that fucking set, didn't I? Like, yes, you did. Yes, can, you, can you confirm that I'm not getting reimbursed? That's my money. Just like no, I no, no, no. your money that you spent 25 bucks on crabs for. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, I know. No, it was my money. Your that, money. Yeah, your money that went into knives. I mean, I. I think that's awesome, and so. We're doing this just because we want something fun. I think it's a really important piece to the Dr. V challenge. And I love the challenge, my weight loss challenge yeah. with a mental, spiritual, emotional side. Totally. This remember we're doing the heart. We're focused on the heart side oh, of things. But I know that there's a practical side of this weight loss movement that you guys need help with. And that's the technical food, food substitutions, sugars, sweeteners, recipes, you know, one pot meals, one, all that stuff that you guys need help with. That's why I partnered with, with Sandy and, and, and food 2.5 to get you this product. And, and I'm super excited, man. Like I'm telling you, at 50% off. And for those of you who got in on the Thanksgiving special at 60% off, it's amazing deal. I mean, amazing, amazing. So, and as you know, this will go, you know, if you've been following Dr. V, you know, this is going to go up. So you're going to have the Christmas special. You'll have a new year special. You might have, I think we're going to wrap it up uh, after new year's. I don't know if I want to do a Valentine's special. I'm still thinking about that in my head, but eventually once we launch, it'll be regular price. And that price was right, one hundred and fifty dollars a month. So get in now. Get in tonight at twelve dollars, man. 
I think that's right, right? If they do the ki- the coupon code GIFT2020, it's half off for the club, which I think is $12.50. 12, 12 and 62. Yeah. And, and 62. Yeah. So it was a typo on the website. I saw that. But yeah, it's fixed already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Andy did it. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Mel <laughs> says, I'm in. Where do I join? It's scrolling at the bottom. Yeah. Join 2.5.com, Julie. That was yeah. that'd be awesome. That's be awesome. All right. I am. My dinner's here. I am I ready to go. Um, Ashley, make it an even 40. What's up? So we got 40, <laughs> 40 for tonight. That's not bad. And five to start off with. So we have $45 in the swear jar. Oh and to make up, Sandy, to make up for the Black Friday that we missed, can you come back on Sunday? You want to do another one on Sunday? Of course I will. Of course okay. I will. So we'll get another 30, 40 bucks in the swear jar. My goal is to try to be around $100 a month on the swear jar, around yeah. $100 or so for a gift prize. I think it'll be a fun value proposition. I think it's going to be so much fun. I'm super excited. I know, right? And we have knives. We have, a- we have knives. <laughs> <laughs> they have very sharp knives. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh my god, all these all these names that I know. This is so great. Can you answer Gwendolyn's uh, question? What if we joined at fifty? Was she one of the original test group people? I, I think have... it was. I, there's so many now. I don't know all the names, but I can confirm. Yeah. Um, I believe that if she's already in, she had joined at fifty. Gwendolyn, yeah. So message Sandy. She'll get you hooked yeah. up young lady and uh, actually says a hundred bucks is easy with my mouth <gasps> oh my so god rude. so rude <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in the- i've got to run and it's been an hour and a half and has it really oh my god yeah look at this pat clemens says she was leaving and half an hour ago she's still here watching <laughs> he's got crabs all right i i'm afraid to say but yes i have crabs <laughs> <laughs> Add that to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. Thank you. Mwah, mwah. Thank you so all right. much. That was Absolutely. awesome. Sure. Thank you for all your time. <laughs> Guys, don't miss out on this deal. Sandy is the real deal. She's helped over 300 people um, learn how to cook, cook healthy, twice the flavor, uh, half the calories, half the time. We have a lot of fun together. We're a great little startup company trying to kind of break the mold, trying to, we're, we, our goal is to take on Weight Watchers. I, I'll just tell you right now, we feel like like Weight Watchers has really let everybody down. And if you look at what they're charging you guys to do online, it's ridiculous. To We, we looked at it to get, to get what Sandy does for you guys. If you want to join Weight Watchers, you're paying about 150 to $170 a month just to, if you wanted like one-on-one service. So, um, that's our goal. I hope you will join us on that mission and I'm super excited to see you guys and we'll be back on Sunday, right? So be good, be kind to each other, mask up, wear a face shield, be safe. Love you guys. Bye.